Miss Florida. Good evening, I'm Erica Dunlap from Orlando, Florida, a senior at the University of Central Florida. I performed at the Grand Ole Opry in Opryland, USA, and I look forward to a career in entertainment law. Miss Florida, Erica Dunlap. is from my home state and she's a country singer now believe it or not she's already performed at the opryland and she's open for pam tillis and who else tim mcgraw and here's why she's my girl she fluently speaks spanish and she looks really cute in those jeans put together a good outfit but this time i'm not so crazy about the hat i've got to tell you really yeah i think the hat is muy bonito <laughs> which by the way is spanish nice, there you go nice it's florida Miss Florida. Now, why did she choose her brother? Me and my sister fight like cats and dogs. <laughs> but for her, she says her brother, Mikkel, has always been her biggest fan. And you can see the tenderness right there and how he just paved the way for her. She That's said she so always sweet. wanted to be the, one of the biggest parts in her life. So beautiful. And she has on this yellow strapless silk crepe dress. Just stunning. And I love the train with the little extra part. Is that thing. what that's called? It's called a train. There you go. I thought a train was like a choo-choo thing or an Amtrak. I was no, like, it's what oh. makes her back look so pretty. I'm not looking at the backwards thing right hey, there. Hey. hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Escorted by her mother, Avon Rivera. Performing the inspirational If I Could, Erica Dunlap, Miss Florida. <laughs> you from the sand it's in your eyes I give you courage in a world of compromise yes I would if I could I would try to shield your innocence from time but the part much more. Welcome our first finalist, Miss Florida, Erica Dunlap. Erica. Hi. Now, your platform is celebrating cultural diversity and inclusiveness. Now, how can we possi uh, possibly celebrate diversity when certain cultures are devoted to retaining only their particular way of life? That's a very interesting um, topic because 
Through celebrating diversity, it's important that everyone in this room understands that diversity is a part of each and every one of us. And the only way that we can overcome that type of challenge is through allowing our children, first of all, to see the beauty in celebrating and embracing other cultures. That's what I plan to do as Miss America, using the crown as a symbolic propeller to take cultural diversity issues to new heights. And I can do that through my cultural diversity curriculum that I have that I'd like to implement in our nation's schools so that children will be able to first start that core so that we can continue those diversity relations in the future. All right, Erica, thank you very much. Erica Dunlop, Miss Florida. Miss Florida. She had that gorgeous yellow gown on, Erica Dunlop. And she was also, by the way, the talent winner, giving us all goose pimples in the house with her song, If I Could. Miss Florida, Erica Dunlop. Miss California, Nicole LaMarche. <laughs> Miss Maryland, Marina Harrison. <laughs> Miss Wisconsin, Tina Sauerhammer. <laughs> Miss Hawaii, Kinalani Gibson. All right, Erica's here to help me uh, crown the winner. Ladies, this is it. The quest is about to end. Brian Ford, one more time, with the envelope, with the final results. Miss Hawaii and Miss Florida, one of you will win a $40,000 scholarship to continue your education. The other will win a $50,000 scholarship, the crown, the title, and the job. Miss America 2004. Ladies, the first runner-up winner of a $40,000 scholarship is Miss Hawaii, Kiyonani Gibson. Miss America 2004 is Miss Florida, Erica Dunlap. You are Miss America. You want to say anything? How does it sound? Please say it again. Miss America, 2004. Oh my gosh. I'm going to Disney World. <laughs> That's it. Your first words were basically hyperventilating. <laughs> I lost the hearing. Miss America, the audience is waiting. All right, and the runway is yours.